first spawn into the world, and of course, I had no items. I was beginning to get increasingly frustrated exploring these worlds where I had no items, but that's when I noticed something increasingly interesting. As I looked over to the village, I noticed that there were these strange things coming from the sky, and it was only once I decided to look up. That's when I noticed that, my oh my, was there a structure that I'd never seen before. The structure could only be described as something that had two strange legs and one head. Now, of course, I couldn't really see much of the structure because of the sheer scale and size and the pure distance I'd have to walk to to simply locate exactly what was going on. But that didn't stop me from walking towards this village that seemed to have some kind of strange figure above it. Now, of course, I was scared. I gotta be honest, I'd never seen anything like this before. And of course, the pink rainbow friend was something I'd only heard mythical tales about. But that was not enough to stop me investigating exactly what was going on. So I decided to get some food just in case there were any mishaps on my hunger bar and decided to walk forward. The closer I got, the more I realized just how insane this structure was. It was compromised entirely of pink wall blocks and it was around 256 blocks high, meaning that this entire structure evaded Minecraft's in-game height. This meant that this entire structure was the tallest it could be, meaning that if villagers had built this, they'd worked tremendously hard to complete such a feat. Now, of course, this village in question was one that I'd never been to before. I mean, it was strange because part of it was separated by a complete mountain and some of the builds in question were around two high, which was something that was quite scary, but nevertheless, Minecraft villages do have very strange occurrences sometimes. But what was even stranger was that some of the builds seemed to be cut in half and some of them seemed to have parts of their tops taken off and bits opened up, which was surely strange. But what was even stranger is that usually when I explore seeds, there's usually some kind of major clue that leads us into the direction that we're having. But for us, there wasn't really that much. The only thing that I could see were two villagers who were stood right by the water, looking up straight at the figure, I guess in a sense of awe, simply as I would. Now, of course, at first I didn't really question them because I would just simply be stuck looking at this if this was over my house or my community. But of course, the curiosity got the better of me and I decided to talk with them. So I spoke with one and he said that thing's insane, isn't it? He also said that it's big and that it's quite scary. He then said, but he is our god after all. And that was quite confusing because how would Pink, the rainbow friend, become a symbolic savior for the people of this village? Certainly something I wasn't expecting, but nonetheless, it was something that I would have to accept. We then spoke with another villager and he said, I'm gonna go up there someday. Some of us are working on it, trust me. We're gonna make it up there one day. And that's when I knew about a certain plan that was going on. So it seemed as if there was some kind of plan that the villagers were proposing that would help them scale this behemoth of a creature. And of course, I was deciding that I needed to figure out exactly what was going on. That's when I found some additional clues about the statue in question. Of course, it said a village message board. And this was something that was clearly built there to information on exactly what was going on with this village creature. So it started off by saying something strange has appeared over our town. I'm not sure what it is, but many are divided on what to do. As the village leader, I have commissioned a team of expert scientists to, to build a rocket ship that can go up there or a team of builders that can successfully explore the place. I am trying to be careful as this rainbow friend is one that we know little about. Please report any findings to the town hall immediately. Now this was pretty cool because I'd never seen a village that had a message board built in and I'd never seen a village town hall so I wasn't exactly sure on where I would find one but of course I'm guessing there was one nearby. So of course I spoke to the villager and he said have you seen anything and to be honest other than the giant pink structure I hadn't really seen much so I decided to continue taking a look around the village to see if I could find anything of significant interest. I mean from the half cut houses to the randomly placed farms and the giant pink structure over this, I didn't really notice much that it wasn't seeming to be anything that linked us back to the original cast of the Rainbow Friends. But of course, as soon as things start to get boring, that's just when they get interesting. You see, underneath this particularly strange structure, 
there was some kind of cobblestone house and it didn't really seem that interesting at first because of course I think it was a distraction but that's when I learned it was a distraction from the real cause. Now I remember one of the villagers earlier were talking about something that was being built. They spoke in the sense that something was being built and that they were building a rocket to go up there. Now, if there was going to be a team of experts, I would need to find out where they were and what they were building. So I decided to look around to see if there was any kind of secret base. Now, of course, the secret base wouldn't be on the front. It wouldn't be anywhere near, but that's when I came across the village church. Now, the church is a symbolic place, a holy place. But of course, once I was looking up there, I noticed that at the top of the church, there's usually edges. Now, there weren't edges on this one for what reasons, I don't know, but it led me to looking underneath here and that's when I found a specific trap door and I saw some iron and that's when I knew I found the jackpot. As I looked down I noticed that there was an alchemy table complete with many different things that would help us create potions but what was even crazier was that it does say in this mission use the jetpack to explore the creature and come back safe and sound. It was definitely interesting because inside the chest there was one blaster shotgun and when I spoke to the villager he offered me a trade. 19 emerald pack and 2 emeralds for a fuel tank. So it was evident that I was going to have to find some emeralds to complete this mission. At first, I was like, where am I going to get some emeralds from? Am I going to have to complete some tasks and talk to these villagers and get something from them? I mean, it's something that definitely you can do, but you can always find out if villagers are hiding items because a lot of the trades that these villagers have are definitely quite bad. So I will be honest, it definitely took a lot more time than it looks because, you know, getting emeralds from rotten flesh or for gold isn't something that is pretty easy and especially when there's a giant structure over here and villagers are truly scared you don't really have much options so I decided to look around and see if I can find any chests I decided just to once again locate this crazy house that was nearby it was truly interesting because of course this crazy house was a bit strange in its appearance but I decided that it wouldn't be worth the scariness so I decided that once I found the chest I would open it because it was definitely strange that there was a chest in this half-built house funnily enough as I opened it up I found 64 emeralds and this was my key to the good life I decided to hurry back to the church in which I knew I could find something crazy of course at the time villagers were scampering quickly as of course nighttime had appeared and they didn't want to be left in the outside world in which the zombies would of course quickly consume them and they would become someone's dinner so I decided to trade with this villager, of course, 19 for some jetpack, which left me with 45 emeralds. I then got myself a few fuel tanks because I didn't really know how much fuel I was going to require for this said mission. So I decided to stock up on my fuel tanks, then decided to equip my jetpack. And of course, crazily enough, the jetpack actually worked. So now it was the time for me to truly explore this pink creature because I completed the first mission but of course it being nighttime I decided to snag a quick torch because I had to understand exactly what I was seeing and if I was going to go up there I knew it was going to be dark so I decided to use my jet propelled jetpack all the way up to this pink creature of course as you can see by the sheer scale of this you'll know just how big this creature was and by me flying in third person you're able to see how much I had to avoid. Now this was truly scary, but as I got back, I could easily see why this structure was so loved and adored by many of the villagers down below. And what was even crazier was that once I got to the top, there wasn't even any space to build above and I couldn't even see the ground beneath me. But what was even crazier than that was that hidden on the top of the structure was Pink the creature. So I was truly scared because what if this creature was going to attack me? What if this rainbow friend wasn't friendly? But as I landed there, he didn't really do much. He just simply looked around and looked quite lost. That's when I asked him a question and he greeted me with a hello. He then said, I'm surprised you managed to make it here. He then said, nobody has been here before. I'll be coming here in the second chapter of the game. He then said, I will be the main villain. He then said, I cannot reveal everything. And I do lots, including killing Blue and many others. I also bring a new color with me. And that was very interesting because he said he'll be bringing a new rainbow friend to the game. So it was definitely a truly interesting experience because I didn't really know exactly what was going on. But I decided that after my trip down, I would tell the other villagers exactly what I'd seen and that there was nothing to worry about. The only thing that left me confused was the 